Hey, buddy. Alright, so um, I do look like a mess. I haven't left yet. I'm getting ready to take the kids, or I'm getting ready to take Mara to daycare, and the baby's staying with me, obviously. But it has been increasingly hard now. Russell's um, going to the gym in the morning, and now he's going back to the uh, a gym we used to go to, which is across town from us, so now he goes straight to work and showers at work and everything. Um, and so usually he would get home and he would kind of get Mara ready and I'd get the baby ready and he'd bring him out to my car. Well now, I've got to bring Mara out and, and I've got to have him all ready next to the door and then bring Mara out, strap her in, bring the baby out. Um, and so it's a little bit tough, but I am getting ready to head over. Today I am um, getting back on track with my health. Um, I know a few weeks ago I said that I was, I was ready to get back on and, and I didn't. Are you okay? You okay? We're going. Um, and I just didn't. And I made a lot of excuses and, um, tried to motivate myself and I, it, they just, it wasn't working. And so finally, last night, we took some pictures. Russell, I, like we took pictures um, of each other as like update pictures, I guess. Hopefully they're the, the uh, worst pictures because hopefully in a few months we'll be able to take some more and they'll be better. Um, but I am not being strict. I'm just getting back to tracking for a little while tracking my food so that I can really have whatever I want um, I'm gonna try to stick with you know good whole food but um, I hate restricting myself and so I like to track so that I can still have what I want and know that I can still reach my goals so um, I, I had been getting in the habit of going to Starbucks um, and it is a terrible habit, but their egg bites are so good. So I actually found a, a knockoff way to make them. <laughs> and so I tried that. I haven't, I have them packed with me. I'm going to heat them up when I get there, but, um, I'm going to try that. And hopefully that for some reason, I just was like addicted to going there and getting them or whatever. I know that's an excuse, but it was just like, I, I liked to go get them and sit in my car and eat them while the baby slept and then I would of course get a coffee or something so I've got my own coffee here it's got um, a whole bunch of ice uh, eight ounces of iced coffee like just regular black iced coffee and then um, about five ounces of almond milk and 19 grams of caramel syrup and then I blend it up in my blender so it's not too bad and then I've got my egg bites and two pieces of egg or turkey bacon that I'll heat up when I get over there. And then I've got my gallon of water because I am um, going back to drinking a gallon for a little while just to make sure that I'm getting enough water. I do drink a lot of water compared to the normal person, but I think my body works better off of like a gallon or a gallon and a half of water. So um, that is kind of the plan for today so I'm just going to take you along with me throughout the day and um, we'll see you later all right we are back home it's about a little after 11 and we hung out for a bit um, over at my mom's after dropping Mara off and um, update on my egg bites they are not terrible but they're not great they do not taste very similar um, and I think it's because I put, 
I, call, I used a lot of egg whites instead of full eggs because we didn't have enough. So I think I'm going to re-attempt to do that with the actual um, eggs and yolk and everything. Um, I kind of knew that was probably going to be an issue. But um, right now, Jay is eating. We're in the middle of taking his newborn photos, which he's three weeks old. So I know he's still newborn, but he's not brand new. Um, I'll show you my setup here. So as messed up as this looks, um, I've got a window behind here. Um, it's a, an overcast day. So I've got about three blankets under here. There's this white one. I'm feeding him so I can't, I'll point with my toe. This white one we'll use for some pictures a little later. Just a this fluffy one here is just to kind of soften things up. There's a boppy underneath there and then this is actually, if you see the underside, it's pink. It's Mara's blanket. But I've got a picture of her with the same background. It makes for when you're just like can only see it, it makes for a nice background. So um, that is my setup for taking his pictures. We are first taking picture with a little diaper cover on with his eyes closed. Hopefully I'm feeding him to get him a little more happy. I've got a couple pictures, but they're not great so far. So then after that, we'll do a wrapped picture and a muslin wrap. And then after that, we're gonna do the little like tushy up picture where he doesn't have a diaper on and his, his little tushies in the air. Not like way up, but um, it's really cute when you see it. Um, I don't know, he might be too big to do it, so we'll see. Um, too big as in, I mean, like he kicks a lot now. Um, since he is a little bit older than like a couple days, you know, after he was born. That's when I should have done this, but you get busy or you forget or whatever. So we're doing it now. Um, and I will try to insert some, some photos in here so that you can see them. They're not, they're not like total professional quality, but it's, it's what I like and it's good enough for me. Um, that's what I took Mara's pictures to. And it, you know, I think they look pretty true to what the, the babies look like. And of course the other, you know, if you had a professional photographer take their pictures, they look amazing and beautiful, but I think you can capture the same thing, maybe just not as fancy, um, on your own. So do what you want to do, but this is what I do. now just eating some lunch this is just a pre-made salad from walmart anyway my mom just called me and she said um she doesn't just randomly call me in the middle of the day usually and she says her worst nightmare happened and so i was like like my heart stopped and i was like what <laughs> thinking like i didn't know what i don't know i was terrified and so at her house, they have, you know, pretty old doors and, um, they have like the type of like lock that you twist and a, a thing comes out of the door and, um, like it's actually in the door. It's not on the outside of the door where it's just like a deadbolt. It's like inside of the door and the little, there's a little knob under the doorknob that you twist and it, uh, locks and the girls have realized how to lock it, but usually they unlock it just fine. And I guess today Mara was just like distraught. I don't know. She was upset or something to where she wouldn't open the lock. And then uh, she must have got scared or something. And she she couldn't get herself out of the bathroom. So that's what happened. So that calmed me a bit. We knew it would pro like we always thought it might happen eventually. But the girls showed that they could lock and unlock it, we thought. And or normally they would. So anyway, that was terrifying at first when she first said that our worst nightmare happened. But um, she's fine. I guess she fell asleep in the bathroom, so she must have been just so afraid and whatever. Um, so anyway, I'm glad I wasn't there for that. But um, I just wanted to show you how cute Jay looks right now. I can't show you his whole body because he's in this little tushy up pose. Um, but I'll show you how cute he looks. He's He fell asleep. And I put him in this last pose and 
So I just decided I'll let him relax a little bit before I put all his diaper and clothes all back on. Um, and I'll just take this time to eat lunch. So I'll show you him right here. He's such a little cutie. So the plan is, is after I eat lunch, I'm gonna get him dressed and then I'm gonna run to Target. Um, there are these little storage deals that we have under our um, table that I wanna get one more of because it would fit three perfectly and I don't know why I went and bought another one and didn't buy two more to go with the first one that we had. So um, I'm gonna go to Target and then uh, I am editing, currently editing his pictures that I just took um, and I'm going to go to Walmart and print them. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do, go there and print them. I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly, but I'm gonna go get them printed just in little four by sixes for now so we can give them out um, to grandparents and stuff. And then so we can have a few. I know this is like the most lame way to take pictures, but it first off, it's cheap for us. Second off, he doesn't look like a whole different baby. He looks like himself. And um, I guess that was it. There's no third thing. So anyway, um, but then tonight we're just going to have some ch cream cheese chicken with veggies for dinner. And maybe we'll play outside. It's It's been pretty rainy today, but it's pretty cool. And so I think maybe I will... Um, have take more outside and let her play a little bit outside because we haven't played outside at our house for a while. So, um, I think that's going to be it for today's video. If it is not, you will see me at target or after target. We'll see. But if not, um, please make sure that if you like this video to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Also, hit the little bell notification so that you get updates when I upload a new video.